Hey guys, Coach Jan here, and here's another weight training for Tai Chi session. So, what we're gonna do today are bicep curls. We're gonna do uh, a few different sets, uh, three in, in particular, and this is really for um, redirection of pressure. And specifically, when I do the rooting drills, uh, Grandmaster William C.C. Chan would always say, and you can watch the rooting drills on my, on my channel, uh, that when I would use the bicep, I'm essentially doing the wrong thing. That uh, I'm, I'm supposed to inflate and redirect the pressure outward if someone's got their hands on my chest or my shoulders, redirect the pressure outward, and that looks like this. Spreading the wings, etc. Issue is, um, I have wrist challenges. I, have my, I was born with scar tissue on my forearms that don't allow me to turn my wrist over all the way. So, doing this little flip out is challenging. So what, instead of doing that, a lot of times I'll, I'll incorrectly, quote unquote, do uh, my biceps, use my biceps for this redirection. So that being said, uh, I still need to use strength to, to do so. It's really, really important to take a look at what that means in terms of uh, bicep redirection versus the, the tricep redirection. So I understand what William C.C. Chen means because I'm essentially creating direct tension on my arms. I have to be the person to uh, make the judgment call on, on making the best use of that. Uh, so if you can use your triceps and, and inflate and redirect the pressure outward, again, watch those videos on my channel. You'll be able to do that uh, very, very well. And I recommend it more than what I'm gonna show you right now. But because I have to do it like this, this is the way I've adapted. So <clears throat> the pressure, when someone's pressing, pressing on my body, I'm lifting up and I'll lift out. This particular exercise is just gonna show us specifically standing in the 70% weight forward, hip collapsed into the groin, knee drop down. So you get your fixed step push hand stance and then inhaling out. And we'll just do four of these. Two, three, four. So once you have the four, we're gonna start going up, one, for the full. Two, three, and four. And now for the last four, we're gonna just go halfway. Two, three, four. So, I'm gonna drop this down. And notice that I was keeping my push hand stance the entire time, my fixed step push hands. Anytime you do this stuff as well, you're going to stretch. So I'm going to do a little bounce out, letting my forearm go a little bit past my elbow. Very gentle, very gentle stretch on the biceps, rolling the arms outward the other way. If you don't stretch, you never, if you don't stretch, you haven't finished your workout. I talk about. Very important. So again, I'm doing this so that I can take this pressure and redirect it outward. Obviously, there's a bunch of benefits to uh, bicep curls, but my intention is really specific to uh, pressure redirection in the rooting posture, hence me choosing the 70% forward stance. Boom, here I am again. That is that I'm dropping right here. My hip collapses into my groin, hip collapses into my groin, 70% down, back knee drops down. So you just wanna make sure that uh, when you do this, I do three sets of this three-tiered uh, uh, bicep curl. So, I um, hope this is helpful. And inhaling, especially, that's the last note. Inhale when you go up. Uh, and let's, let me show you what I mean by that once again. So, I'm switching my legs for the next set. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up. This is Tai Chi reverse breathing. Inhaling up, exhaling down. And then I go for my feet. And really pressing that big toe into the ground to activate my the chain reaction of my breathing. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Big toe to the ground, inhaling up, exhaling down. So you want to slow down your perception. Or should I say, speed up your perception to slow down time. Inhaling up, exhaling down. I might have done one extra there. Of course, dropping with good posture, picking up with good posture, and then doing your little stretch. 
circles, bigger circles. I'll do one more of those, but again, um, I hope this is helpful. Detail, pressing that big toe into the ground with the lead leg to activate the chain reaction of you inhaling, redirecting the pressure outward. Again, watch these, um, <clears throat> my rooting drill videos, and hopefully you'll, hopefully you'll be able to uh, put those pieces together <laughs> of how this exercise connects to, especially the rooting on the belly. And uh, I will do more detailed versions of those videos soon. Love you guys.